Okay, so I'm in the kitchen. The kitchen is where I get to really express my emotions, feelings. So your girl woke up this morning and the sun was shining. However, I was in so much freaking pain this morning. My head was like about to explode. I don't even know why, but I was like, it's a nice day to have a picnic. So we're gonna make some little high tea picnic snacks because I think that will be cute and I think it will be interesting. Now, I just went to the shops and bought a whole bunch of different 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 things to bake yeah so i went to the shops and got a whole bunch of different things to bake i don't really know how to make anything by scratch so we got greens australian since 1978 red velvet cupcakes and we also got betty crocker super moist chocolate fudge moist so i'm gonna make cakes with both these mixes but but look at this i ordered this like a couple weeks ago now from kmart look at these miniature little cake freaking tins also, we're going to be making scones too. Scones, scones, however you want to say it. But look at these little cute tins. I'm obsessed. Today, I'm really excited to bake. I just hope it turns out because I cannot bake to save my ass. Like, if God was like, if you can bake a cake, you go on to heaven, I would have no chance. Okay, so I've already preheated the oven. And I want to start off with the cake mixes because, I don't know, I think that's like easiest. My sister's going to come help me so I don't fail at this. So if you're not from Melbourne, you wouldn't know this. But Melbourne had our first ever, well, my first ever, like, proper earthquake. Oh my goodness. I was in bed and it was like 9.15 in the morning. And a girl's having a good old time just on her phone, scrolling through TikTok. And all of a sudden, my bed starts shaking from side to side. And I was like, oh yeah. And my tent is like moving the whole house around as she does from time to time, you know? And then I was like, hold on, why is there no sound? Like if she was moving chairs and tables, like I'd be able to hear the chairs and tables. And then I was like, oh, if it's not that, then it must be the wind. So I'm trying to like look through my blinds to see if like it's really windy outside. And my bed starts moving more and more and more. And I'm like, damn, that wind outside is like proper gushing through. Like I was about to go to my dad and be like, dad, I think we've got some type of draft and the air is just like rocking, <laughs> rocking my bed back and forth. I've managed to look at the trees and all of a sudden the trees are not moving and then after I realized the trees aren't moving my TV actually started shaking and I was like nah nah it's an earthquake so I was contemplating whether or not I should run to my dad or if I should just stand in between a door frame because apparently that's what you're supposed to do I've opened my bedroom door and directly across from me is my grandmother and she starts like yelling at me she's like what's happening what's happening I can't I can't deal so I ran to my dad straight away my dad mind you just chilling, living his life, in bed, watching TV, like nothing's going on. He's looking at me and he starts to laugh. I go, is that an earthquake? He's like, yeah. And I was like, you did not even move out of your bed to even check if I was okay. But anyway, but yeah, so we experienced our first ever earthquake. So I just got two bowls. So much has been going on in the world lately. Like it's not even funny. Melbourne specifically, like what is going on? On. There was an earthquake yesterday, freaking there's so many protests happening yesterday when the earthquake happened. When I saw my dad not move a single inch out of his room, it literally reminded me of the time I got bitten by my rabbit. What happened was I was outside in the backyard and my rabbit just had enough of me so she bit me and she was dangling from my hand and I was screaming at the top of my little lungs. I was screaming outside for my dad to come save me, you know, because that's what like dads are for. And I decided to, you know what, man up and walk inside and I left a blood trail all over the backyard. I come inside to only find that he has only just come out of his room and I was screaming, like absolutely screaming at the top of my lungs and he had only just made it out of his room which is mind you all the way at the front of the house and i'm in the backyard it just really reminded me of that time to see him not move an inch out of his bed when there's an earthquake going on my dad's a virgo and he's a very very chill man extremely chill which i love i love virgo so much because they know how to make you laugh and they know how to like calm down a freaking crazy situation but when an earthquake's happening you'd think they'd be a bit more like you know so i've cracked three eggs in the chocolate mix and two in the red velvet i love red velvet red velvet is my favorite 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 type of cake in the whole world i need to measure next but i dropped math so i don't really know how to measure i'm very very bad at measuring trin what's three fourths of a cup you f***ed it up already no i didn't you f***ing kidding me why does this have three eggs 
Because it said three. Three large eggs. Baking involves numbers and I just don't do numbers. The only numbers I do is money. So the butter is now melted. I'm going to put it in this one. So fattening. Yum. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm the only person I know that favours the fat over the like meat part of any meat. My favourite part of the steak is the fat. I absolutely love the fat fat. No, oh, fat is just, it has so much flavor, you know what I mean? I freaking love stirring things because I am the biggest pot stirrer you will ever meet. Let's do this. Did you ever mix them? No. Why do they look like bloody whipped cream? I absolutely love it. Look at it, nice red velvet. Red velvet's like a, a luxury cake. It's got velvet in it. Tap it out. In they go. I tried to slide, but that didn't work. But we're now doing the buttercream frosting. Put that bad boy in. These are the cupcakes. I don't really know. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll call you back because I just cut my finger. off. <laughs> Always cut away. I just cut my finger and on top of that, I left the cakes in the oven while I was outside. I'm just gonna, I didn't even open this, I can't. Mm, it's bourget, bourget. Come. <gasps> she just broke my fucking wood spatula. You're not, you are never baking with me again. <laughs> because apparently that's what I need to do. All right, and this one too. They're very hard, not gonna lie. Oh, that color, that color is gorgeous. I literally want to dye my hair this color. Like, it's my favorite color in the box. Apparently I need to do a crumb coat. Wow, gorgeous. Okay, so this is the crumb coat and I'm gonna put this in the fridge, let it cool a bit and then when it's ready to be decorated, we're gonna decorate it. I at least did something right. Are you freaking kidding me? This has been the worst experience of my life. I'm praying I can do a good job at this. The time is approximately like 9.15ish probably and I started doing this at around Four, I think so that's how many hours it's taken me to just make a freaking tiny cake a tiny cake This is my cake complete. I finished this at what time? 10 o'clock on the dot, 10 o'clock and it is finished. I'm gonna keep it like that. I think that's cute and kind of goes with this dress. So because it's dark now tomorrow, I'm gonna just have a picnic maybe. Hopefully if the weather's good, we shall see. But I'll see you tomorrow.
So it is like four days later because Melbourne had no sunshine. So now I'm on my picnic and everyone is literally picnicking. It's really nice outside, which is nice for once because Melbourne didn't really give us good weather this week. But this is the setup. So this is everything that we made. We've got the two cakes. They look so freaking cute, not gonna lie. But that is how they turned out. That one's the red velvet and that one is the chocolate. And then we also have the scones. They are fresh from this morning or this evening. And we also have the strawberries dipped in chocolate. I think it looks super duper cute. I can't wait to dig in. No, you cannot come eat. This bird. She's gonna go for They're coming, they're all coming. No! Nice. <laughs> right, on Bear Grylls, it's the survival of the fittest. Right, so at the moment, the male's chasing the female. He's getting quite aggressive here. We've got Dumb and Dumber. He's like, break it up in the red corner, break it up in the blue corner. Three, two, one, and the war's back on. It's every man for himself out there. <laughs> They're back at each other, pecking each other. 